everyone, Penny here, and today I have two projects that I am going to show you. This I am calling the Bloom, and I think it, I'm going to call it the Legacy Bloom. Um, it's a cluster, so you could say Bloom Cluster. And this is part of the Messy Circle series. However, these are not the same as the Messy Circle flowers. These are totally different. Um, I added some vintage photos, and I thought these would look really cute as an embellishment, an altered paper clip, um, or having on the front of a journal. These are super big. Um, they are a little bit bigger, and then they go down to the smaller size. But um, I'm calling this the Bloom, the Bloom Cluster. Um, and I have, I'll show you the printables. This is part of the Print, Cut, and Create series. And here is the um, ephemera clusters. Remember on day one and two, we stamped the ephemera. And this is the representation of stamping. the stamping. And then we have the cluster ephemera. So this is, I did some, um, some satin or some lining in there. And then I added um, some crochet thread, vintage crochet thread. So I didn't print on the back. Of course you can because there's always a background page included with the printables. But I just wanted to show you how neat that this was. This is the um, cluster actually that we were making, the, the stamped ephemera cluster that we were that we did. This is the printable version. It has the templates and you just, um, I'll show you, you just rip them out and um, the distressing is already there, so it's easy for you just to rip those. And if you want to use extra distressing, you can. And then you just cluster them up. You just layer them up and glue them together. And then this one as well. Um, if you saw the Messy Circle for the Messy Flowers video, um, please check that out because it will give you um, how to construct this. But basically, it's the same, but they are bigger. And I added some more tool in between each layer. Um, and I, you know, I scrunched it up, but you can check that video out because that will tell you about basic as far as putting it together. So let's get into the printables. Um, this, like I said, I'm going to call these, um, this is the Legacy Bloom. I absolutely love that. And this is part of the Stamped Ephemera Cluster Print, Cut, and Create Kit. Uh, messy paper circles. Um, I added some vintage cabinet cards to there. These were uh, from the public domain, so they're super cute. I also added from the public domain some stamped ephemera. I just love these. I could just use these in a journal. Just cut these out and use those in a journal. Um, and then um, they're just super cute. And then like right here, where the, I used the, this is supposed to be a, a, um, the letter P from what I could gather. Um, I may be wrong, but um, I'll show you those. And here is some of the messy circles. There's different um, patterns, different designs of those, so you can use those to make a bloom. And then here are the squares and rectangles to make the cluster. Look at this. See, I, this is the alphabet, so I just assumed that was the P. <laughs> or this one could be, yeah. It could be the Q. I think that's the Q. I think I messed up. Anyway, whatever. It's there. It's kind of hard to see, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? So these are the stamped ephemera. Look at the little bird, the chicken, the little... I love this one. Um, so there's those that you could absolutely use. Here's part and more of those. Um, the st the um, square ephemera to make this. So not only is there the square cluster... Stamped ephemera cluster in a square. Let me get the other. Okay. Here's the other sheet. Because I've already cut and made one right there. There is the square stamped ephemera cluster. Here is the messy circle stamped ephemera clusters. Here is the stamped ephemera to use if you wanted to use some stamping. Makes it to make it look like stamping. Um, I redid these digitally to make them look like stamping. Look at the ladies there. Aren't those neat little ladies there? I love those. And then also here is the blooms. The messy blooms. Okay, so there's several in this one kit. There's like three different, three or four different things in this one kit. So there you go. So check that out. Um, check out how that we made the clusters. 
and how a day two of the 80 days junk journal stuffies challenge and that's what all these templates are about is to kind of recap because the day is halfway there it's day 40 of the 80 days um, junk journal stuffies challenge so I thought that I would create the templates easy printable sheets print cut and create and um, there you go you have a project all ready for you and you can make these up in advance and have them ready to go but I love my bloom Okay, guys, I will see you later. Have a great day.